Hi, my name is Phil Davison. I'm a filmmaker and a teacher of filmmaking, and I'm presenting you this series of video resources on how to make video resources for Otago Polytech. So the, the method I'm going to use is I'm going to make a bunch of resources and say how I'm making them and, and using that method to illustrate how to make video resources. The criteria that I'm using is that these need to be fast, cheap, easy, foolproof. Uh, I'm assuming that you don't have access to large amounts of professional gear. And even if you did, I would caution you against using uh, professional cameras unless you know what you're doing. A lot of professional gear uh, will produce immaculate results, but it assumes you know what you're doing, and if you don't know what you're doing, you might end up with, say, for example, everything being slightly out of focus, which looks awful. In this case, I'm using my phone. I'm, I'm recording this on an iPhone 4S uh, because it is easier for me to use when I'm working by myself than it would be to use a professional video camera because it's much easier to keep it to keep everything in focus. Professional video cameras require precision in focus and the iPhone does not. So it works better um, in this situation. It needs to be easy to use because Whatever subject field you're working in, uh, I'm pretty prepared to bet that things will change and you'll want to update things. And if you had a, if, if making the video resources was a big drama, you're not going to repeat them next year simply because something's slightly different. And then your video resources will soon be out of date. Much better to have them easy to make and current. So easy to make equals current because it's you know if it's only going to be half an hour for you to go and shoot a new piece of video, you'll go and do it. But if it's going to be a full day's mission, you're not. So the subjects we're going to cover in this, this is our table of contents. First of all, we're going to look at sound because sound is really, really important. If people don't understand the words, they don't get the message behind the educational resources and the whole thing was pointless. So sound is crucial. Second, we'll look at video capture. Um, some simple techniques to get the best out of whatever camera you're using. Next we'll look at some conceptual toolkits. Uh, what I want to look at is, is some, some different modes of using video so that you've got uh, an idea of some, some, uh, a, bigger set of, a bigger set of choices for the sort of production you're going to make. Uh, we'll look at some methods for getting better performances uh, in other words, so that you can engage the audience uh, better with your performance on camera. Um, then we'll look at copyrights and clearances, which might be the most boring section, but it's also possibly the most important section. It's really important you cover the copyrights and clearances. And finally, we'll look at editing and publishing and how to create your own YouTube channel. 